Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode. He'd had enough, so he chose to go back to work and forget about what had happened. He had no idea that she was going to come back. As usual, he went about his day while she looked in her car for what she needed. What did she do with it? She couldn't leave it out in the open. She looked at everything in her car as she thought about the bad plan she was about to carry out. Michael ran an all-purpose shop. The shop had been visited by people from all walks of life. Since it was the only general store for miles, he really liked meeting the different people who stopped by to see what he had. Michael loves being a store owner because he gets to meet a lot of people. He gets to meet new people every day, which keeps his life from being boring. But he wasn't ready for the interesting person who walked in the door today. He told her she had to wear a mask to protect herself and other people. It wasn't personal, but that's how things work these days. You'll wear a mask if you go to the shop. Still, she didn't seem to like that. It was another boring Monday morning. Michael made sure that the shop's stock was always full, and most of the people who came in were very nice. Before she went into the store, everything was going well. When the door opened, everyone turned to look at her. Michael saw her walk right by the sign that said no mask, no service on her way in. What did she look like? When she got inside, she stopped moving and just stood there. Michael knew she was trouble as soon as she walked in the door. When she looked at him, he could feel a knot form in his stomach. She seemed to want to look Michael in the eyes before going into the store. He thought this because she wasn't wearing a mask and he could see her smile. She walked down one of the aisles after turning on her heel. Michael moved quickly around the bar and toward her. He was ready for any reason she could give. Michael got her attention and said, I'm sorry, ma'am, but you'll have to put on a mask if you want to shop here. She thought about what he said for a moment before telling him, no, I don't. She started right away to say what her rights were, but Michael had already heard it all. So, when she finished her long, repetitive speech, he just looked at her and said, wear a mask or leave the store. Michael had no idea that this was just the beginning of his problems. She gave him a hard look and shook her head. He pointed out the door and then at the sign she had ignored before. She had to wear a mask or leave, and that was the rule. It seemed like she wanted to be noticed. As she left, she smiled at him and laughed in his face. This was always what she had in mind. She had been waiting for this. When she left, Michael let out a sigh of relief. He could get on with the rest of his day. He just hoped that no one else like her would come through the doors. Anti-maskers were his worst fear. He soon stopped thinking about her and started to pack more stock. But while she waited by her car, she thought about what to do next. From her car, she was still looking at the front of the shop. She could still see Michael, and this made her smile. He didn't know what would happen next. She looked down and opened her car's glove box. She couldn't remember where she put it after using it last. She couldn't leave it out for everyone to see, at least not yet. She looked around in her car and started to feel scared. What happened? She finds it quickly and waits for her meeting place. He pulls up next to her at last and rolls down his window. She asks if he has what they are looking for. He says, yes. She looks at what he's wearing and laughs hysterically. Now it's time to go back to the shop and find out what the owner thinks. It's something he'll never forget. Michael is shocked to see her run back through the doors. But this time, she is hiding behind a mask. But it's not a mask of any kind. It's a mask that is very, very unique. Michael comes up behind her and tells her to leave. She yells, I have a mask on. But Michael won't give up. She yells insults at him as she calls for the man waiting outside to come in. Her husband, who was wearing an officer's uniform, walked in with confidence. He has come to help his wife, who is wearing a mask with a Nazi sign on it. But they can't fool Michael because the outfit is fake and the man is smaller than Michael. He takes care of them quickly and tells them they can never come back to his shop again. Karen is furious until she can't take it anymore and leaves with her husband. Michael's shop is the only one close to their house, so whenever they want milk, they have to drive an hour to the next town over. Then they said they would get even with Michael, but he isn't worried. Michael later told his story on Reddit, where he got a lot of praise and support for how he handled the situation.
People made sure to let him know he was right when he said that staying calm and strong when dealing with angry and unstable people is a trait to be proud of. One user wrote, she was trying to push every button this shop owner had because people like Karen want to own the libs in any way they can. It's terrible. And someone else wrote, hell yes, dude. I don't like stories in which a company gives in because they need the business. I could never serve a fool who was dressed in Nazi garb. I wish everyone could slash would do this as well as you. That's it for today friends. Please let us know what you think about this story. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon for more amazing stories.